Oh, happy Halloween. We're going to Burger King. Ow! Oh, shit. Okay, so for today's video, since it is Halloween, I knew that it was too late to show you guys another tutorial. So what I wanted to do was dress up as what I wanted to be for Halloween, which is a alien devil icy hot as my cousin calls it and then i wanted to go don't look at the hands that didn't get painted and i decided that i wanted to talk about my one-time paranormal experience since it is halloween and i decided why not do it while trying the impossible burger from burger king not sponsored let's go okay people are driving like crazy i don't know if it's because of it's halloween also I keep hitting the top of the roof of my car. I really, I wonder what the people in the Burger King line are gonna say. Okay, we're in the drive-thru. All right. Do they still have the Impossible Burger? Oh God, I hope so. Yes, I see it. Impossible Whopper, sorry. Is there anything up there? Hi, could I get uh, an Impossible Whopper? What was that? Could I get the uh, Impossible Whopper? Here it comes to 969 at the first window. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm about to possibly scare this person or they're gonna think that this is completely normal. Let's find out. Hi. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. She didn't even really care. All right, let's see the next person. Hi. didn't even care like his eyes went like big and then he was just like eh, whatever i'm guessing this is not the weirdest thing that they've seen all <gasps> my horse fell thank you thank you he really really did not care all right folks time to get back home and um i'm probably gonna stop vlogging because there are cops out and it probably I don't know if it's illegal to record yourself while you're driving. It probably isn't, but it feels like it's in that realm of kind of using your phone. So I'm going to turn you off because safety. If my face paint comes off walking in the rain back inside, I'm going to be so upset. I'm back and I have the goods acquired. The Impossible Whopper can be interesting. Okay, unwrapping it. I will say I don't like the smell of it and I don't know if I've ever said this before, but I'm not a beef eater and I know this is supposed to mimic the taste of beef. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna like it, but we'll see. Like I'm not a fan of the smell at all. Okay, it's huge. Wow. That's a big sandwich. Like, like that is a big sandwich. And if I don't like it, that's a whole lot of sandwich not to like. Mayo, lettuce, onions, pickles, cheese. Okay. Um, okay. Here goes the first bite. Hmm. Hmm. I got a very, very tiny bit of it and a lot of my lipstick on it, but I t it tasted kind of um, like charred, like something charred. Let's try a second bigger, but I really don't like the smell. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, let me try another bite because you know there's like that rule you have to take three tastes of something before you actually get the full taste. All right, let's find out. It's not bad. You know what? It's not bad. Okay, now that I have a taste of it and it's not bad, let's start talking about ghost stories. I believe in ghosts, kind of. I do think there's something out there. I think there's residual energy, residual spirits. I do think that there is stuff like that out there, but I like how I'm using this French fry. I'm not sure about a lot of experiences that happen, not particularly on ghost shows, but like at home, like sometimes you'll hear a creak or, or a bang or something. And I feel like a lot of it can be explained away. So like, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. So whenever I usually have any kind of like bang or thud or something, I can usually explain it away. I could be like, oh, that's the heat kicking on. 
that's the wind outside that's that so usually i would say like any kind of noise or whatever i will discredit it or just like explain it away or logic it away or whatever so i don't really really believe in ghosts that much like i don't think every noise is a ghost some people who do believe in ghosts tend to believe that any sound or any knock or anything like feeling a little cold like oh my god there's a ghost presence here but i will say that i've so i've been able to logic away except this one time in my life oh, ah! was that a ghost i said i didn't believe in ghosts and then all of a sudden my devil horns fell maybe those were the devil saying that i'm not part of their team back in high school when i was working in a retirement home and while I was working in this retirement home, I think I may have had a paranormal experience. A little backstory. I worked um, three years while I was in high school, I worked at this retirement home. And this retirement home was only for females to live in. They lived there and there was about, I believe like 17 or 18 ladies could live there. And like the building was either created in like 1890, I believe it's like when they started construction or it was like 1900. It was very like late 1800s or early, early 1900s. About a hundred year old building where I worked. And for the most part, it was fine. There wasn't anything like really crazy or anything. Side note, it's not bad. I don't know what beef tastes like, so I don't know how this compares. This is soy, right? Like it just tastes like a soy, like a soy patty or something. Maybe it's not soy, I don't know. Anyway, so I worked in this building and it was like a hundred years old and there were, um, when I worked, I think there was like 16 or 17 ladies that stayed there. There wasn't anything ever like crazy that happened. Except like one night I went into the kitchen and I was talking to the cook that worked there or like on that shift. And I, you know, like I was friends with her. And she had worked there for a pretty long time. And she had told me that she'd had some like paranormal experiences, like experiences that I believed when like, you know, like when she talked about it, they sounded like legitimate, like stuff when family members passed away, certain things would happen and blah, blah, blah. So she was a little bit more deaf. Up until that point, I had never, ever, ever had anything paranormal happen, like ever. So I never had anything that had happened that had happened to me ever, but like she was experiencing something. And now I do have to put a disclaimer that we weren't trying to find any paranormal anything. She randomly asked me, she's like, hey, have you seen the attic? It was like a really slow day. It was November. It was just like, there was like nothing to do, but you know how you have to, you have to be there until your shift ends. So she was like, you wanna go see the attic? And I was like, well, nothing's going on. All right, let's go look at the attic. And so we both went up to the attic, you know, grabbed the keys or whatever. And we went up to the attic and it was just an attic. There wasn't anything creepy, like in the way that it looked like it had a bunch of stuff all over. Like it had um, some, I think like, um, like some chairs and then like suitcases. Some of the residents had trunks up there. And so it wasn't anything creepy at all. Um, it was cold up there, but I just attributed that to being that it was in November. And then I also didn't think that the heat worked all the way up there because I mean, I don't know, do you heat attics? Like, do you need to heat attics? I didn't think too much of it. We walked around and there was nothing there that was particularly spooky. As we were walking around, I felt this one area like super, super cold. Like unnormally, abnormally cold. Like from the rest of the room, this one space was so cold. And I don't think I've ever experienced that ever again. Like when you're in a room and then there is a cold spot, like that one area had such an intense cold spot. And I was like, wow. At that time, I didn't know anything about relating cold spots to spirits. So all I said while I was there was like, oh, that's, that's really, it's really cold right over here. And I didn't know anything, right? So I learned about this stuff like later on after watching like some paranormal shows. I'm like, okay, cold spot, weird. I kept walking and then there was a window there and I asked the cook like, oh, this is a interesting window because it was circular and none of the other windows in the building were circular. Plus, I don't think we really see circular windows that much. And she told me, yeah, there was a woman who used to live in the resident home that really liked to look out of the window and there used to be some like trees that she really loved, but then they chopped those trees down and she was really sad. And I was like, oh, okay, cool story. Well, whatever. All right, this attic is kind of boring. Let's bounce. So, you know, there's not much, 
there's not much to see in an attic anyway. So we started walking out of the attic. I really didn't think I was gonna like this. And it's actually really, really good. Back to the story. We're walking out of the attic and um, the attic was like, the building had, I think, four floors, including a basement. And then the attic was on the top. Um, and it wasn't, yeah, so like all it was, like you would go up the stairs and then it was just the attic. So we get out of the attic. The cook that I was with was kind of, um, like, you know, she had kind of a fun sense of humor. So she, as we were walking out, she said, okay, we'll see you later, bye. And as soon as she said bye, a voice came back at us. Now, sadly, I learned after watching a lot of paranormal stuff that whenever you hear any kind of ghost whisper, it doesn't sound like actual words. So as soon as she said bye, we heard ah, like, ah, like that. I, I know I'm not, like I can't do it justice because I don't know what it was, but that's what it sounded like. It just sounded like a wow. And I swear to God, I got so, so scared that I ran down the stairs and then at that point the key got stuck and she couldn't lock the door and I was like oh my freaking god like you know even at that point in my life even though nothing had happened I believed in this stuff a little bit like I believed it could happen and for that noise to come right as she said bye and the way that it sounded, I was like, oh my God, I have to run out of here right now. But I couldn't just leave her there, right? And the door, the lock gets stuck, the key gets stuck. And I'm like, oh my God. And she, like the cook that I was with was like laughing the whole time. And I'm like, how are you laughing? Like, did you not hear that? And it was just, it was so bizarre. After a few minutes, she finally got the door to lock. And I was like, oh, thank God. And we both like, booked it out of there and ever since then i've never had an experience after that ever again not in that building not anywhere else that i've lived but that was the creepiest moment i swear of my life and it's like when i'm recanting it when i'm retelling the story i don't find it that scary but in that moment the way that that noise came back right after she said bye scared the shit out of me. I had to run out of there. And the fact that the door couldn't lock, it was just like, oh, nightmare, nightmare fuel. I never had an experience anywhere in that building besides the attic. I mean, we had like a hundred year old, like grandfather clock. And I mean, it was kind of weird because you see it in spooky stuff, but it wasn't like, it wasn't scary. I never got any creepy feelings around it. In general, like it was a nice, happy place. I feel like if I ever went back there, that it would be a nice and happy ghost. Maybe it was the old lady that we were talking about, the one that loved the trees. Maybe it was her ghost. And maybe, maybe it wasn't a ghost at all, but like I, I logic away so many things, but I had a hard, hard time trying to find logic, trying to explain that away because it just, it just sounded exactly like when you watch, I don't know if anybody that's watching this watches BuzzFeed Unsolved, but you know when you hear the noises and it's like wow, or like that, and um, Shane says, Ryan, that's just a and Ryan says, no, that's word that said something. Like it was that moment. Like when I watch that in shows, I never, like I'm like, yeah, it doesn't sound like anything, you know, even though, this person thinks it does. I don't think it sounds like anything, but I also don't discredit that it's an, it's an outside voice. That's not something regular. Like when you, like when you hear like the heater kick on or something else, it's a different noise, but there was like no way that that noise could have come back to us. So that was my full on real paranormal experience that I've had. And I think it's been a long time since I've had that. I've never had anything else happen afterwards. I will say that building, even though I felt good, the only place that I felt creeped out, so besides the attic, the attic I had the experience, but the attic, but the attic I only went up once. The place that I frequented every shift was the basement. And you guys know, basements are creepy. Except that basement really wasn't that creepy. I mean, there was a huge area which was um, food storage. It was really, really clean. There was one room where the residents would exercise on the weekends. Again, really clean. And then there was a laundry room. So I would usually go down to the laundry room at the end of my shift um, and I would make sure that all the lights were turned off and that everything was turned off and then I would book it out of there. And I would book it out of there because it felt, it 
always felt like something was watching me down there. See, that I can explain away because it's a basement that usually was in the evenings. I would leave around seven o'clock. So like that, I could explain being creepy, but the attic, I can't at all. I just always had this weird feeling that, I don't know, it felt like something was watching me and I couldn't tell what it was. Other than that, I've never had anything else that was a scary experience that I could say had some sort of proof. And I wish, I wish I knew back then to record stuff and I really didn't. Okay, Impossible Whopper, again. I don't know what beef tastes like, but this tastes like soy to me. It definitely, I get that really strong soy taste from it. And if it doesn't have soy in it, I'm gonna look like such an idiot. If you're a beef eater, what do you think? Tell me what you think about this story. Do you think there was possibly something there? Or was I, was I overlooking something? Cause I really did try to logic it away. Like was there a heat thing that turned on? Did the one of the nurses in their station turn on a radio? because they used to listen to the radio. I couldn't find out a reason. So tell me what you thought. And also let me know, have you tried the Impossible Whopper? What do you think of it? Especially if you're a beef eater, what do you think of it? And that's all I have for my stories. The rest of the time I'm just gonna eat. Side note, don't get unsweetened iced tea. It's the worst, like God, why do I do that to myself? Does anybody else get shit? Man. Last two bites. This is good, but there's something just feels odd about it. I don't know how to explain it. Would I order that again? It was pretty good. It wasn't bad. I don't know if it's like my favorite thing, but if I had to eat it, I wouldn't mind it. Like I think I would semi, I, I semi enjoyed it. Impossible burger, not bad. If you're a vegetarian, I think, I personally think you could taste the meat substitute part of it, but that could just be me. Anyway guys, happy Halloween. Everybody say, safe out there. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you like the Impossible Whopper, hit the like button. If you are genuinely interested about paranormal experiences, hit the like button. I would say subscribe for more videos like this, but I don't know if there's going to be more videos like this. So, you know, subscribe if you had a good day. I will see you all in the next one. Bye. So I just had to run out and do like an emergency errand in this blue makeup and I told this person, I don't usually do this, which is a lie because I do this all the time. I think there's, 